Hey, what's up? What's cracking, everybody? Uh, my name's Adam. I have ulcerative colitis. And quick little thing. So for the um, I Have UC site, right? That's what we're talking about here. I had a big goal for 2011 to set up a database uh, from people like you to uh, write in a review. I've got a little review form on here about, excuse me, about your doctor. Anyways, I put this posting up today and a woman or a man, I'm not sure who, sent in an unbelievable review and I wanted to read it out to you. Not to say that everyone needs to write like this, but anyway, this is about a doctor, Dr. Nora Erhart in Orlando, Florida. And it shows the doctor's phone number. And then for the comments section, which I thought was just so unbelievably impressive, this review, I'll read it off to everyone. Dr. Nora Erhart is friendly and has, as I believe, over 18 years experience. Her bedside manner was pleasant most of the time. It, didn't, it did seem when the patient was not doing as well, she gave off a feeling of, quote, the only option is surgery. We've exhausted all other available treatments and basically there is no hope outside of having surgery, end quote. I do feel that she's a good listener and the office staff are friendly too. I can state that she is another gastroenterologist that does not believe diet has anything to do with IBD and she will not recommend any form of diet other than staying away from lactose if it bothers you or the well-known low residue diet when flaring. I found this disappointing, but not surprising. She does sometimes seem irritated with the patient as they are children and can be rather hyper at times with short attention spans. Well, duh, don't we all know this who have children? You would think choosing to be a pediatric doctor, she would be more patient and show less irritation, but this is not the case, at least with my family. A typical office visit is usually fairly swift. We've never had to wait more than 15 minutes to be brought back to a patient room or more than 15 minutes after that to be seen by the doctor. The office does work easily with insurance, but when you do a colonoscopy, be prepared to pay your co-payment up front or she will not perform the colonoscopy. Also, they are extremely strict about last minute cancellations and will bill you for it. She also will not give any results or consultations over the phone, which I found quite irritating in the beginning, but got used to it. Overall, I would say she is a good doctor, but with more choices out there and hopefully more open-minded doctors coming out who do actually admit and can't understand a correlation between diet and IBD. I wouldn't settle on this one. Anyways, I, this was a, one of the longer doctor reviews, but I, I think that it's something that could be of value for someone else. Let's say for this particular case in the Orlando, Florida area, this is also a pediatric gastroenterologist. A lot of people that have UC that are diagnosed with it or dealing with symptoms are young, right? Ain't, ain't a mystery. Anyways, please write a doctor review you don't have to write anything as spectacular as this or as detailed, but anything that you think someone else um, might find useful is going to be helpful. Anyways, have a good weekend, and I'm going now on five days, no steroids, keeping the finger crossed, drug free for five days. Talk to you all soon. All right, later.